Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is going to be about genetics and uh, application of rule of probability and here is a problem if a restriction and the nuclease A cuts the DNA at recognition site that is GAACC and if restriction and the nuclease B cut at recognition site that is GAATTC which statement is true and you have to choose uh, the correct answer between these four statements or four answers. As usual, I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So, how we are going to solve this problem? First, I want to give you uh, a little bit of theory. Imagine that we have a box and within a box we have uh, different stones of different color and uh, imagine that uh, we have to pick up any of the stones by uh, randomly pick up them without looking. So what is the probability that we would pick up uh, the green one and uh, the probability would be uh, 1 out of 4. So we have uh, 4 stones and probability that we are going to pick up this one would equal to any of these probabilities, so 1 out of 4. So what is the probability that we are going to pick up red one? And probability would be the same, 1 out of 4. And probability that we are going to pick up a white stone would be 1 out of 4. And probability that we are going to pick up the blue one would be 1 out of 4. If we add all these probabilities, we are going to get 100% or just 1. So, um, what would happen if we would increase uh, frequency of one of the stones? For example, if uh, we would have more green ones. So, in this case, uh, what is the probability that we are going to pick up randomly a green one? Of course, we have uh, now more greens and probability that we randomly pick up a green one would increase. So we have one, two, three, four, five stones and two of them are green. So probability to pick up a green stone would be two out of five stones. Now what would be the probability to pick up a red stone and probability would be uh, 1 out of 5 stones. So as you see, uh, probability to pick up redstone now decreased in comparison when we had only 4 stones and probability to pick up randomly uh, white stone would be 1 out of 5 and probability to pick up randomly um, blue stone would be 1 out of 5. Once again, when we add all these numbers, uh, we are going to get 1 or 100%. So, uh, basically this is how um, theory works. Now we are going to apply the theory to our problem. Imagine that we have uh, some random sequence that can be thousands of bases and uh, we basically have bases adenine, guanine, cytosine and thymine. So uh, this is four hour bases, compare them to four stones of different color. So uh, of course uh, these bases can go in a different sequence, for example adenine here, thymine here, adenine, cytosine, cytosine, and thymine, thymine. So, uh, sequence can be random. So, what is the probability that, for example, uh, here we would have guanine? And what probability that here we would have adenine, adenine here, and cytosine, cytosine? As you see, this is our sequence for the endonuclease A 
cutting recognition side. So basically we have uh, four places to fill with uh, bases. So five places. So what is the probability that uh, first one would be filled with guanine? And probability would be uh, one out of four bases. So one out of four. What is the probability that the second place would be filled with adenine? Once again, probability one out of four. Uh, and one out of four probability here. And cytosine also would have the same probability. So because uh, this uh, independent probabilities, uh, probability that, for example, uh, in the first place we would find uh, G, uh, would be 1 out of 4 and probability that uh, two um, bases would be G and A would be probability of uh, uh, would be product of two independent probabilities so we have to multiply uh, one quarter by one quarter so probability to find at the um, random sequence G and A next to each other would be 1 out of 16 and probability to find uh, this five bases in this particular sequence would be one out of uh, 1024. Let's check our answers. Answer A. Restriction and the nuclease A will cut DNA in about every 1240. This is closed but not the correct answer. Answer B, restriction endonuclease A will cut DNA in about every 2480 nucleotides. This is also incorrect answer. So we have to cross out these two answers. Let's now check answer C and D. So uh, answer C and D uh, give us answer for endonuclease B. And this is sequence of the endonuclease B. Uh, basically, uh, we already did our calculations for the any random sequence that consists of one, two, three, four, five bases. And this sequence consists of one, two, three, four, five, six bases. So basically, we just have to add one more probability here. Or this is going to be one quarter multiplied by one quarter multiplied by one quarter and by one quarter. So four, five and six. And the answer would be uh, that the probability would be one out of 4096. And this is going to be our answer. But if you think that the correct answer, answer C, this is not true. And here is my explanation. Uh, usually uh, all the uh, restriction and the nuclease uh, recognition sites are palindromic. For example, if on the uh, one strand we have T, T, C, C, on the other strand we have a palindromic sequence that is T, T, C, C. So such sequence we call palindromic and they read the same just uh, in different directions. So whenever we have such sequence here, we have the same sequence on the other strand of DNA. But because as you see our sequences here was uh, 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 recognition site for the endonuclease A and uh, endonuclease B are not palindromic, that means that such sequence would occur twice as uh, frequent as uh, palindromic sequence because such sequence may occur on one strand of the DNA and also on the other strand of the DNA. So uh, restriction and the nuclease would uh, recognize this sequence no matter on which strand of the DNA such sequence would occur. And uh, in most textbooks you may find that uh, restriction uh, sites for endonuclease 
restriction in the nuclease uh, are palindromic, but also sometimes uh, such sequences like this two in our example may occur, and that means that uh, such sites would uh, occur twice as uh, frequent as uh, palindromic. So the correct answer would be answer D. But uh, once again, I want you to pay attention uh, that uh, in most uh, such uh, problems, the correct answer would be uh, this answer, because uh, most of the uh, restriction in the nucleus recognition sites are palindromic. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.